Well, this weekend is arguably the most important for Catholics and Christians around the globe. Easter is not just a holiday, it's a celebration of an act central to the faith. I'm going to talk about its significance in 2013. We're joined by Pastor Femi Ogunrunde, pastor of Lighthouse to All Nations Church, and Father Lauren Crozon, the rector at Holy Rosary Cathedral. Thanks for being here this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for your invitation. Now, Easter Sunday coming up, pews generally packed. Yep. You know, lots of people come in. What is your response to that, I guess, when that one weekend of the year, it's full all of a sudden. We're just happy to have them there. <laughs> I think it's just great that people see that as a time when they can connect themselves to the church and connect themselves to what, for many of them, would be a spiritual tradition. Pastor Femi? Well, I think uh, we need to welcome them. It's, uh, it's a season that's very, very important to our Christian faith. And I think, uh, you know, when our pews are open, when our churches are open, we have the opportunity to bring the message of hope and of resurrection and uh, the centrality of our faith. Now, last year there was about 12 million Canadians that attended some type of church service for Easter. That was the same about the same as the viewing audience for the opening ceremonies for the 2010 Olympics here in Canada. Um, you know, what do you do though to bring people back to keep them beyond the Easter and the Christmas? Well, I think it, it, it takes a fair bit of work just to try to include as a part of their weekly life to say, okay, you know, there's something important that's happening here at the church, and we'd love to have you come along and, and be a part of all of that. Uh, there's something, you've experienced Easter now, there's something also beyond Easter that you can continue to experience that will enlighten your faith and, and help you understand the depth of, of Christ's love and God's love for you. It's like a starting point. It is. Pastor Femi, do you guys do anything specifically? Well, I think our message must become more relevant. Today? Because, yeah, today, we got to make our, we got to package our message in such a way that it becomes relevant to day-to-day -day living uh, so that people can actually track with that and relate to that. That's what's going to draw them. When I can apply biblical principles to my life and I can see that it's actually beneficial to me, I want to go back and back again. So I think our message must be Become very relevant. Now, Easter is, I was just reading a report that it's the most commercialized holiday after Christmas, so number two. How does the church compete with that? I don't know if there's any way we can compete with that, other than I think for those who are faithful Christians, for those who understand the importance of the spiritual experience of Easter, I think that they go beyond Easter eggs, they go beyond clucking bunnies and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. There's something far greater than that, and they, they understand that. Pastor Well, for me, I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the, this whole concept of commercialization is, is big. Uh, but beyond that, I think we need to uh, uh, con just continue to encourage people and, uh, you know, make uh, our Christian faith more relevant. And uh, I'm not concerned too much about the commercialization. I'm more concerned about us going back to our Judeo-Christian values mm -hmm. and actually bringing that for, to the forefront so that we're not distracted about this whole commercialization. I think that's just a yeah. side aspect. Yeah. Uh, what's more important though, Good Friday or Easter Sunday? Or is it, you know, I know at the cathedral that you do many more events than that. Well, certainly for us in the Catholic tradition, you know, Easter is, is three huge celebrations starting this evening with Holy Thursday and in that we will reenact the washing of the feet of the apostles at the Last Supper from the Gospel of John. On Good Friday, we will read the Passion of John and we'll have the veneration of the cross. And of course, Saturday evening, there's a great Easter vigil, the reading of salvation history from the Old Testament, mm -hmm. and then the, the light ceremonies. So it's, it's a whole series of celebrations that really speak to us of the, the nature of God's love and the nature of God's grace for us as, as a Christian people, and how God continues even now to be working in our history and in our lives. Pastor Femi, last word quickly. <laughs> well, I think it's important that, the, for me, there's no separation between Good Friday and Easter. It's all a culmination of events, burial, death, resurrection, what is more important? The three are important because for us as, a, as Christians, the death means something to us. It means that we can reckon ourselves dead to sin and trespasses, mm -hmm. but we can be resurrected as well as Jesus Christ resurrected. So to me, the whole uh, Good Friday, Easter, very, very important. We can separate one from They're the other. not mutually exclusive. You cannot have, you can't have death without resurrection. Right. You cannot have resurrection without death. Right.
Yeah. Excellent. We'll have a great Easter, and thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank, thank you very you. much.